In this video, I'll show you how to find the polygon and vertice count of your Blender scenes. So there are actually two different ways to do this, and I'll show you how to do both of them. So the first way is to click right up here on the viewport overlays, and then you're going to click on the statistics. And when you turn that on, you can see right over here, it shows you all of the data. So it shows you the amount of objects, the vertices, edges, faces, and triangles. And just so you know, faces and polygons are actually the same thing, but in Blender, they're called faces. Now because we are still in object mode, this data here is going to show us the data for the entire Blender scene. So if I like duplicate these cubes a few times, maybe add a monkey head, you can see right over here it's going to tell us all of the data for everything that's in the Blender file. And you can also see that right here it says objects and it has one slash six. So this is telling you that there is a total of six objects and then the first number is going to tell you the amount of objects that you have selected. So if you hold down the shift key and shift if select object, you can see that it now says three of six. So we have three objects that are selected of the total six objects. Now, if you select an object and press tab to go into edit mode, it's now going to show you all of the data for just this object. And the objects will still just show you all of the objects that you have in your scene, but the vertices, edges, and faces now have these zeros right here. Now, if I start to select vertices, you can see now it says two of eight and three of eight and four of eight. And we now also have a face selected, so it's going to make the face one of six. So the parts of the objects that are selected, that is going to be the first number, and then the total amount, that is going to be the second number. Now the second way to do it, and the way that I prefer to do it, is to right click on this little bar right down here, and then you're going to click on the scene statistics. And then it's going to tell you, if I just turn this back on, it's going to tell you all the data right here. So you can see it says verts, and verts is short for vertices, and we have faces, and tries, and objects. And just like the statistics up here, if you tab into edit mode, you can see it's going to tell you the amount that's selected. So if I just shift select some of these, you can see it now right over here on the verts, it says three of eight. And then if you want to leave this on so that it's in all of your future Blender projects, just click on edit and then open up the preferences. And then in the user preferences, you can just click over on interface and then you're going to go right down here and open up the status bar. And then right here, it's going to show you the same settings. So you can just turn on the scene statistics. And then right here next to me, you can just click on the Save Preferences button, or the Auto Save Preferences might already be on, and then that way it'll be turned on automatically in your Blender projects. So I do really prefer to have the scene statistics down here, because it's very minimal and just kind of down there in the corner, and so I can just ignore it most of the time, but it's always there if I want to take a look at it. So that's going to be it for this video, I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.